In this video, we will discuss the survey design feature in REDCap. Up to this point, we have been demonstrating data entry via forms, which as we said before, are the version of your REDCap instruments that are used to enter data by REDCap users who have access to your project. But some projects will require data to be entered by outside participants who are not part of the study team and should not have direct access to your project. In these instances, your REDCap instruments can be distributed as a survey, which is the version of your instrument that is accessible via a URL, which can be distributed to others. To use surveys, first you must enable the surveys feature in your project. Navigate to Project Setup and then click to enable surveys. After the survey feature is enabled in your project, navigate to the online designer and you will see a new column that has appeared that allows you to enable individual instruments as surveys. So click Enable next to your desired instrument, and you will be taken to the survey settings page for that instrument. You can customize these survey settings right away, or you can go ahead and save these settings as is to come back to them later. Back on the Online Designer page, this green check mark indicates that the instrument has been enabled as a survey. There are a few ways to distribute your surveys to others. If you are collecting data anonymously, or if you do not have a specific group of participants to target, you can distribute surveys via the public survey link. In the left-hand toolbar of your project, click on the Survey Distribution Tools module, then click on the Public Survey Link tab. This link can be copied and pasted to a flyer or mailer or sent to a group of people by email. We typically do not recommend posting public survey links to social media or to sites with high traffic, as it leaves your survey vulnerable to spam entries and bots. If this is a concern, the Google reCAPTCHA feature can be enabled to protect your survey from spam and bots. Participants who access the link will be brought to the survey version of the instrument and will be able to enter data. After they press submit, their responses will be saved to the project with a unique record ID. To view submitted responses, a REDCap user with access to the project can navigate to their record and view their responses, make edits, or continue to enter data into form-specific fields. Another way to distribute your survey is via the participant list, which allows you to send survey links to specific participants by email through REDCap. Instead of one survey link for all, this option generates a unique survey link for each potential participant. This is a great option if you have a group of people that you are planning to target, especially if you need to track who has completed a survey and limit duplicates. Use the participant list, navigate to the Survey Distribution Tools module in the left-hand toolbar, and then click on the Participant List tab. From the participant list, click Add Participants and enter your email addresses one per line. After pressing Add Participants, their email addresses will be added to the participant list and will be available to be sent a survey invite. Click Compose Survey Invitations to compose your email. On the right, you can select which participants you want to send links to, then on the left, you can specify when the email should be sent. You can enable reminders, which will resend the link to a participant if they have not responded by a specified time. Then you can compose your message. You will see that the body of the email includes the smart variables survey link and survey URL. REDCap will populate these smart variables with a unique survey link for each potential participant. Be sure not to remove these smart variables so that the participant will receive the links as intended. After you have finished customizing your email, you can press Send Invitations, and each participant will receive an invite with a unique link to their survey. When they click on the link, they will be brought to their survey. After they press Submit, their responses are saved to the project. In the participant list, you will be able to see that they have responded, and you will no longer be able to send them invitations. The survey versions of an instrument can also be accessed and distributed from a records homepage in REDCap without the participant list. To do this, navigate to that record via Add Edit Records, and the record must be existing and saved to the project, meaning at least one form in the record has been entered and saved. Click on the gray status icon next to the instrument that you want to send. This must be an instrument that has already been survey enabled in the online designer. Then. Click on the Survey Options drop-down list at the top of the page. You can open the survey version of the instrument right away, or you can send the link to the participant by email by clicking Compose Survey Invitation. There may be instances where you have a series of surveys that you want participants to complete in one setting. 
If all of your surveys should be completed one after the other, in the survey settings, you can turn on the auto continue feature. After the survey is finished, REDCap will automatically continue to the next survey. But there may be some instances where your project has surveys that are intended for different groups of participants. For example, let's say in this project we have a survey that should only be completed if the participant is a parent, and another that should be completed if they are a child patient. In instances like these, you can set up the survey queue to specify the conditions under which a participant is eligible for a certain survey. In the online designer, click on the survey queue button and then click to activate the surveys that you want to be included in the queue. In our visit information survey, we have a field that is capturing whether the survey respondent is a parent or a child. In the survey queue, we will use branching logic to specify that to be eligible for the parent survey, the response to the role question should be parent, and to be eligible for the child survey, the response to the role question should be child. Click Auto Start so that the survey will automatically start after a survey is submitted. After the survey queue is set up, those who select parent as their role will be brought to the parent survey, and those who select child as their role will be brought to the child survey. Another useful feature for surveys is the automated invitation. Automated survey invitations can be configured so that REDCap automatically sends email invites to participants when certain specified conditions become true. For example, if in this project we wanted REDCap to automatically send participants an email invite to their respective survey at a certain time, we could set up an automated invitation. For this feature to work, you must first be capturing the email address in one of your instruments. This should be a text field with an email validation. Then, you must designate the email address in the project. To do this, navigate to Project Setup, and under Optional Modules and Customizations, click to enable the designated email field, and specify which field in your project should be used. REDCap will use the email address entered into this field as the recipient for all survey invitations. In the Online Designer, click the Automated Invitations button next to your desired survey. You can then define the conditions for your automated survey invitations to be sent. In step one, you can compose your invite. In step two, you can specify the conditions that must become true for the invite to be sent. In this case, I want the parent invite to be sent if the initial survey is complete and if the participant has specified parent as their role. In step three, you can specify when the invite should be sent once the conditions are met, and enable any reminders if needed. In step four, activate the survey and you should be good to go. With this setup, when a participant submits a survey specifying that they are a parent, REDCap will automatically schedule an invitation and any reminder invitations to be sent to the participant's email address at the specified time. As data collection is ongoing, you may view your email invitation history by navigating to the Survey Invitations log tab of the Survey Distribution Tools module. There, you will see a log of all survey invites that have already been sent or have been scheduled to be sent to survey participants in this project.